Hello, my dears. My name is Hassan Faiz. I am master in English from Namal and I am a qualified and certified English teacher. So this is my short introduction. Enjoy my teaching. Let's get started. In this class, I'll teach you that how we can use prepositions before gerunds. And uh, I teach you that what is gerund. As you know, in simple words, uh, that uh, first form of the verb plus ing is called gerund. As I have written here, go, went, gone. So go is the first form and uh, plus ing go plus ing and that is going so this is called gerund walk walked walked so walk is first form plus ing walking this is called gerund in this lesson i'll teach you that how we can use prepositions before gerunds and uh, here i have uh, a few sentences and uh, i'll also uh, take a test of you I have written all these prepositions here, so you are supposed to write these prepositions or you can say fill in, uh, fill in the blanks, fill all these blanks. I have written, so you are supposed to write these prepositions in these blanks and I want uh, to uh, test you. If you, uh, you, if you correct all these uh, uh, questions or MCQs, so it means that uh, you are proficient in English and uh, you can pass every exam or test of the world related to English language because it will show your efficiency and proficiency in English language. But if you, uh, if, but if you correct only uh, two of them, it means that uh, uh, you are still good but not proficient or efficient. And if you correct none of them, so it means that you are very weak. So your test is started. But before that, I will be reading uh, these uh, sentences and uh, you will uh, fill these blanks with me. And after that, you will uh, stop watching a video and you will complete them and then you will check them with my uh, right answers so you will know that how much you know about uh, prepositions so these are prepositions instead of without besides about by for of a to now number one the police arrested someone so you are supposed to fill this blank with some of these prepositions so the police arrested someone breaking into the house so this is gerund and you are supposed to write preposition before this gerund number two i became proficient in english blank speaking every day so speaking is gerund and you are supposed to put some preposition uh, here number three we decided to tour the whole country fill in the blanks just going to the capital so going is gerund here number four our club has been thinking blank putting on a play number five you are capable blank doing everything number six my father isn't very good blank cooking number seven i am not used blank eating so much at lunch time number eight they went to the movie blank getting our permission number nine this is blank in the beginning and this is gerund so working as a doctor she also writes novels in her spare time number a uh, number 10 we were excited so here you have two options one and two so you can write two of them and both of them will be correct so you have two options because sometimes we can use more than one preposition uh, in different situations so we were excited you will write two of the prepositions here winning the match now you should stop watching video complete them uh, properly and then you will check them now i will uh, give the answer uh, and i will fill these blanks number one the police arrested someone for 
So we write here for this for the police arrested someone breaking into the house. Number two, I became proficient in English by speaking every day. <clears throat> Number three, we decided to tour the whole country instead of instead of just going to the capital. Number four, our club has been thinking about about putting on a play. Number five, you are capable of doing everything. My father isn't very good at cooking. Number seven, I am not used to eating so much at lunch time. Number eight, they went to the movie without uh, without getting a permission. Number nine, uh, besides besides working as a doctor, she also writes novels in her spare time. Number ten, we were excited. We were excited about. We were excited about winning the match or we were excited by winning the match. So about and by you can either say uh, we were excited about winning the match and you can also say we were excited by winning the match. So you have two options here and uh, these are very important prepositions. So. All these prepositions are used before gerunds and these are gerunds breaking, speaking, putting, doing, cooking, uh, eating, getting, working, winning. So all these are called gerunds and uh, I uh, completely uh, showed you here that how to use prepositions before gerunds. So this is the end of my class for more grammatical explanation. Watch my videos continuously. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, like and share. My message to the world is serve humanity. Bye bye.